Mastering Failure Investigation Corrective actions can be ticking time bombs if not thoroughly risk assessed. Which specific steps and protocols are included in the process for identifying and systematically addressing potential risks associated with the corrective actions implemented to rectify the root causes of the failure, and how are these risks mitigated to prevent recurrence? The process for identifying and systematically addressing potential risks associated with the corrective actions implemented to rectify the root causes of the failure involves several specific steps and protocols. These steps are designed to mitigate the risks associated with the corrective actions and prevent recurrence of the failure. Step 1. Risk Assessment Conduct a thorough risk assessment to identify potential risks associated with the corrective actions. This assessment should consider the likelihood and potential impact of each risk. The risk assessment should evaluate the following. Potential failure modes of the corrective actions. Probability of failure. Severity of failure. Detectability of failure. Risk Priority Number RPN, calculation to prioritize the risks. Step 2. Risk Mitigation Strategies Develop and implement risk mitigation strategies to address the identified risks. These strategies may include Designing and implementing redundant systems or backup plans Conducting regular inspections and maintenance to prevent failure Implementing warning systems or alarms to detect potential failures. Providing training and procedures to operators and maintenance personnel. Establishing contingency plans for emergency situations. Step 3, Hazard Operability, HAZAP, Study. Conduct a HAZAP study to identify potential hazards and operability issues associated with the corrective actions. The HAZAP study should evaluate the following Potential hazards associated with the corrective actions Identification of potential failure scenarios Evaluation of the likelihood and potential impact of each hazard Development of recommendations to mitigate the identified hazards Step 4, Failure Modes and Effects Analysis, FMEA Conduct an FMIA to evaluate the potential failure modes of the corrective actions. The FMIA should evaluate the following. Identification of potential failure modes. Evaluation of the likelihood and potential impact of each failure mode. Development of recommendations to mitigate the identified failure modes. Step 5. Implementation and Verification. Implement the risk mitigation strategies and recommendations from the HAZAP study and FMIA. Verify that the corrective actions are effective in mitigating the identified risks and hazards. Step 6. Continuous Monitoring and Review Continuously monitor and review the effectiveness of the corrective actions and risk mitigation strategies. This should include Regular audits and inspections to ensure compliance with procedures and guidelines. Review of performance metrics and key performance indicators KPIs, to evaluate the effectiveness of the corrective actions. Identification of opportunities for continuous improvement and implementation of changes as needed. Step 7. Lessons learned and knowledge management. Document the lessons learned from the failure investigation and the implementation of corrective actions. This should include Development of a knowledge management system to capture and share lessons learned Identification of best practices and implementation of changes to procedures and guidelines Sharing of lessons learned with other teams and departments to prevent similar failures by following these steps and protocols, organizations can systematically identify and address potential risks associated with the corrective actions implemented to rectify the root causes of the failure. This proactive approach helps mitigate the risks and prevents recurrence of the failure.